Welcome to the Ninox Essential Series. If you are new to coding and don't know where to start, no worries, we got you covered. Our first essential video is all about variables, let statement, equality, and how to use code in our Ninox database. Let's start. In our essential database, we have a table variable. Let's add two number fields. Let's also add some data there. Okay, perfect. Now let's add a formula field. This is a script editor. Here we will create all code in Linux. Here it's where the magic happens. There are two versions of script editor, visual, where we can drag and drop, and the text. We will focus only on the text editor. Okay, so what if we want to calculate what is the value of these two number fields combined? Yes, of course, we can simply count with uh, the plus sign, right? Yeah, that's correct. But today we are making our first steps into coding, so we will create variables and store our fields as values. Okay, what are variables? Simply said, variables are containers that hold information. Creating variable, it's very easy. With the word let, always typing in all low case, we are bringing our variable to life. Only the first time when we are creating the variable, we will use let. Okay, the word let it's followed by a label or a name that we want to give to the variable. You can choose any label you want, but it helps to choose a word describing the variable you want to store. Okay, let's uh, choose the name v1 as a variable one. You can access the variable later with the name and change the value, but we will come to that in a second. Then we have a stack equal or colon equals, and this is an assignment operator, assigns a value to a variable. We are stating that v1 gets 5. This is a declaration or assignment of a value. We don't use the word equal when we assign this sign, instead we use the phrase gets the value. And the value of the variables defined the type of variable we are creating. In our case, we are creating a numeric variable. Okay, but we said we are not going to use the number. We are going to use now our number field. Perfect. Let's create another variable and call it v2. And let's assign a value of field number two. Perfect. So a variable, it's just a container for storing a value. And once created, the variable is stored in a computer's memory and it can be used and updated repeatedly throughout the program. Now we are accessing the variable by referring to its name. So if we write v1 plus v2, let's see. Amazing, we have calculated these two fields. Awesome. But as I said, we can declare um, the variables, again, we can assign a different value. So we can say now the v1 to be 44. 
and then we will again with the plus sign calculate it and this is it so we overwrite the first statement in the first line of code and we reassign a new value to variable v1 amazing right but let's take a moment to talk about the equal sign. So if we write v1 is equal v2, what are we actually doing here? We are testing the equality of a statement and we will get a Boolean result true false or yes no so let's check so we are checking if the field number is equal to a field number two but of course expected result it's no but if we are adding exclamation point before the equal sign now we are testing inequality now our line of code is saying v1 it's not equal to v2 and we will also get a boolean as a result but this time our result is going to be yes okay let's create another case scenario in a text field of employee name we will add some value now we have a string it's a name morris and we will create another variable we can also call it v1 because the scope of our variable exists only in the formula field there is another scope like uh, global variables um, that are then accessible throughout the Linux database, but this is something what we will uh, dedicate more time later. Okay, so now we will assign the value of the employee name. We will also create another variable and simply give it a value of a string hello i would like you to notice that there is a difference between variable one and two so any element that it's a component of a table a field that has a space in its name must be enclosed in the single quotation mark Linux is creating this automatically for us and uh, any text hard-coded text string that we are using in a formula like here hello must be enclosed in the double quotation marks okay so now if we want to create for example little a greeting to our employee we can write something like this v2 plus this is an empty string that is giving us a space plus v1 amazing we got hello mars you could also use the variable to define a record for example you can use uh, this line of code let a gets value of this and uh, this define the current records that we are working on please uh, keep this on your mind and you will see how um, this it's a very powerful line of code and uh, we will use it in Ninox in one of our next videos. To sum up, today we learned about 
variables, about lead statements, and about equality. And the most important of all, we learn how to use this simple line of code in our Linux environment, and this will definitely help us to automate our business processes. Congrats! Ninox.